Hi, it's uh, Nick from Digital Yacht with another solutions update on how to get internet afloat. So the simplest method of getting internet afloat is to use our 4G Connect solution. It's a cellular based solution uh, relying on access to cell towers on the land to give you fast internet access on board the boat. So the Pro solution comes complete with a below deck modem unit. This has an internal Wi-Fi uh, antenna that creates a Wi-Fi hotspot on the boat that mobile devices can log on to. And then there's two external antennas, uh, which are designed to be mounted externally and about half a metre apart or more. Now, the reason that there's two antennas is it uses a technology called MIMO, which stands for multiple in, multiple out. So effectively, you've got almost like two transmitters and two receivers inside the box. And that's what gives you the range and performance, typically up to about 15 to 20 miles offshore. A SIM card sits inside the unit. Um, it's SIM free, so you can put any, any operator's SIM card inside and choose the operator. Uh, best operator for your particular area uh, and that's it that will give you reliable fast high-speed internet now lots of people use Wi-Fi as well to access uh, shore hotspots lots of marinas are footprinted with with Wi-Fi and that can be an ideal solution as well and that's our WL510 to so the gain this is a two-part solution a below deck modem unit and a three-foot external antenna high gain antenna actually 15 dBi gain so what this does is allow you to search for hotspots. You might be looking for them in their local Starbucks or McDonald's or your marina hotspot. Connect onto that access point uh, and then it has a LAN port which can connect to a router uh, or to a, directly to a PC or Mac and that effectively boosts Wi-Fi ranges. Now we've seen ranges up to about five miles offshore with devices like this. Now you can also bond the two together. So you can take a cable from the WL510 and connect to something called the WAN port on the 4G Connect. Uh, and that will then allow the 4G Connect to become the router on board the boat. And you can switch between Wi-Fi or 4G connectivity. Now lots of users also ask us about 5G and what's gonna happen when 5G comes. Well, two things. Firstly, 5G is really for very local, uh, high speed, internet access. You can't really boost the 5G signal to get more range. But what will help is uh, 5G will be used for 4G backhauls. So the overall 4G experience will get better as 5G starts to roll out. And there's also the provision to add a separate 5G modem into this device if you want to as and when they start coming onto the market. Finally, to get NMEA data into your system so that you can have navigation data together with your internet data on the same Wi-Fi network, this is iCommunicate, our universal NMEA 2000 and NMEA 0183 interface. Simply connects into the LAN port on the 4G Connect, connects directly to your NMEA boat network, and you're up and running with NMEA data for apps and so on. So that's our integrated internet access and also NMEA Wi-Fi system. Thanks for listening.